China's J-50 sixth generation fighter aircraft has become a focal point of global defense discussions. Drawing intense scrutiny from military analysts, aviation enthusiasts and geopolitical observers alike. Although official details remain scarce and much of the information is based on speculation, satellite imagery and credible defense reports, the J-50 is widely believed to represent China's ambitious leap into next-generation air dominance. Designed and developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, the same team behind the J-20 stealth fighter, the J-50 is reportedly tailored for carrier-based operations, signaling a strategic shift in China's naval aviation capabilities. Unlike previous Chinese fighter jets that primarily served land-based roles, the J-50 is engineered to operate from China's growing fleet of aircraft carriers, including the Type 003 Fujian, which features an electromagnetic catapult launch system. This integration suggests that the J-50 is not merely an evolution of existing platforms, but a purpose-built naval stealth fighter designed to project power far beyond China's shores. Early visual evidence, including grainy photos and artist renderings, points to a twin engine, canard delta wing configuration with advanced stealth shaping, internal weapons bays, and a likely emphasis on reduced radar cross-section and infrared signature. One of the most compelling aspects of the J-50 is its positioning within the broader context of sixth-generation fighter development worldwide. While definitions of what constitutes a sixth-generation fighter can vary, common attributes include artificial intelligence integration, networked combat systems, optionally manned capabilities, advanced sensor fusion, directed energy weapons potential, and superior electronic warfare suites. The J-50 is expected to embody many of these characteristics, leveraging China's rapid advancements in computing, materials science, and aerospace engineering. Propulsion is another critical area where the J-50 is anticipated to break new ground. It is widely speculated that the aircraft will be powered by next-generation turbofan engines, possibly the WS-15 or an even more advanced derivative, offering supercruise capability, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, and enhanced thrust-to-weight ratios. These engines may also incorporate thrust vectoring for superior maneuverability, a trait that would give the J-50 a significant edge in close-range dogfights, though sixth-generation doctrine increasingly emphasizes beyond visual-range engagements and data-driven combat. Avionics and sensor systems are expected to be among the J-50's most sophisticated features. Analysts suggest the aircraft will integrate an advanced active electronically scanned array radar, possibly with multifunction capabilities, including electronic attack and cyber warfare functions, infrared search and track systems, distributed aperture sensors, and high bandwidth data links are also likely components, enabling the J-50 to operate as a node in a broader combat network that includes satellites, drones, surface vessels, and other aircraft. This network-centric approach aligns with China's People's Liberation Army doctrine of integrated joint operations. Stealth remains a cornerstone of the J-50's design philosophy. Every aspect of its airframe, from the serrated edges of its weapon bay doors to the alignment of its control surfaces, appears optimized to minimize detection across multiple spectrums. The use of radar-absorbent materials and advanced coatings further enhances its low observability. Unlike earlier stealth aircraft that prioritized frontal aspect stealth, the J-50 is believed to offer all aspects stealth, crucial for survivability in modern contested airspace, where threats can originate from any direction. Armament details are still classified, but the J-50 is expected to carry a mix of beyond-visual-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided munitions, and potentially hypersonic weapons in its internal bays to maintain its stealth profile. External hardpoints may be available for missions where stealth is less critical, though this would compromise its primary advantage. The internal carriage not only preserves stealth but also reduces aerodynamic drag, contributing to greater speed and range. The cockpit is another area of innovation. Early reports suggest a glass cockpit with a single large area display, voice command interfaces, and helmet-mounted display systems that provide pilots with real-time situational awareness. More intriguingly, the J-50 may feature an optionally manned configuration, allowing it to operate autonomously or with a pilot depending on mission requirements. This flexibility could revolutionize how China employs its air assets enabling high-risk missions without endangering human pilots.
in terms of performance, the J-50 is projected to exceed Mach 2 in top speed, with a combat radius exceeding 1,000 nautical miles. Figures that would place it on par with or ahead of current U.S. and European sixth-generation concepts. Its carrier suitability means it must also possess robust landing gear, reinforced airframes, and corrosion-resistant materials to withstand the harsh maritime environment. Geopolitically, the emergence of the J-50 underscores China's determination to close the technological gap with the United States and assert itself as a dominant naval power in the Indo-Pacific region. The aircraft's development coincides with China's expanding Blue Water Navy ambitions and its desire to challenge U.S. carrier strike groups. If successfully deployed, the J-50 could shift the balance of power in key flashpoints such as the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. However, challenges remain. Integrating such a complex system into operational service requires extensive testing, pilot training, logistical support, and doctrinal refinement. China's past struggles with engine reliability and software. Integration in earlier platforms like the J-20 raise questions about whether the J-50 can meet its ambitious performance targets on schedule. Moreover, the true test of any fighter lies not in its specifications but in real-world combat effectiveness, a metric that remains unproven for the J-50. Despite these uncertainties, the J-50 represents a bold statement of intent from China's defense establishment. It reflects a long-term strategy to achieve air superiority through technological innovation rather than numerical advantage. As rival nations accelerate their own sixth-generation programs, such as the U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative, the U.K.'s Tempest, and Europe's future combat air system, the J-50 ensures that China remains a central player in the future of aerial warfare. In conclusion, while much about the J-50 remains shrouded in secrecy, available evidence paints a picture of a highly advanced, carrier-capable stealth fighter designed to meet the demands of 21st century combat. Its blend of stealth, speed, sensor fusion, and networked warfare capabilities positions it as a potential game-changer in naval aviation. Whether it lives up to expectations will depend on China's ability to overcome technical hurdles and effectively integrate the aircraft into its broader military strategy. For now, the J-50 stands as a symbol of China's rising aerospace prowess and its ambition to reshape the global military landscape.